to see a painting by Titian is a rare occurrence. And then to see a painting by Titian, which seems to be one of the great images of his whole output, is an even rarer thing. Thank you for joining me. We're here to talk about the wonderful painting by Titian, the Venus and Adonis, which is the highlight of the December sale of Old Masters. Titian is one of the greatest of all painters. I feel he still has a huge relevance in the contemporary world. Titian in particular has such an enduring legacy because he's able to evoke all these themes, love, desire, death, tragedy, the loved, the beloved. They're all contemporary feelings. That's an extraordinary thing, and I think that's why it's so fresh and feels so contemporary, because we can relate as a viewer to those themes. He worked on this theme at several different moments yeah. in his career. The other versions are in some of the most significant museums in the world, and then we have this version. And this is the only version which includes all the different aspects of the narrative. One of the striking things about this painting is the colour. The palette is extraordinary. Titian feels, for me, as vibrant and as contemporary now as many contemporary painters. And I think that's a lot to do with technique. It's that quickness of brush mark, that vitality, that looseness that he's able to produce, which I imagine was quite radical at the time of painting. What I like particularly about this picture is the movement. You understand the tension through the shape of the bodies and their relationship to each other. This eternal theme of love and separation is cemented in this twisted movement that runs through her back and then in Adonis's outstretched arm. It's an amazing painting in its compositional construct and its grand scale provides this intimacy because it envelops us as the viewer, I think. And it, it draws you in, yeah. doesn't it? There's no escaping the action, the feeling, the, the passion and the imminent sadness. And I think that's what's so genius about Titian and how and why he's been such an influence on so many artists. Jenny Savile in particular, often thought of as the sort of heir to Lucien Freud, but really it, it all harks back to Titian, how radical he was as a painter. When you look at Savile's work and the expressiveness and the vitality in her brush making, it's this confidence of approach. Jenny's paintings are of monumental scale, but like this painting, scale can really hold an intimacy for the viewer because it envelops you. Happy coincidence that as we speak, there is a major retrospective yeah. of Freud's work here in London at the National Gallery. It's of no coincidence the revered the old masters and Titian in particular in such high regard. He talked about Titian's ability to paint multiple people and in a way that hadn't really been done before. And I think that's what you see in this Venus and Adonis. It's full of life, both in terms of colour, but also in terms of the expressive nature in the way he paints and how he handles painting. I think for Freud, it was a great sort of lesson for him and indeed other artists. As you say, this is an unbelievable painting. And I think one of the great privileges we have you know, working for Sotheby's is we're afforded the opportunity to see unbelievable masterpieces. You're really seeing an artist and an artwork that really stands to the cornerstone for what is to become in the next 500 years. It's a rare treat to get a version of Titian's bestseller to come to auction in this condition. And I hope you'll all be able to join us the first week of December when the painting is on view in our London galleries. Tom, thank you so much, that was fascinating. <laughs>